Hello book lovers and welcome to Book Talk Radio Club. My name is Claire Perkins and today I'm talking to author Christy Cook. Christy, a former costume designer for Live Theatre, is the author of the children's book, Your Hands Can Change the World. Hello Christy, welcome and thank you for coming on Book Talk Radio Club. Hi, thank you for having me. I'm so excited. Christy, can you give Book Talk Radio Club's listeners a brief synopsis of your book, please? Yes. Your Hands Can Change the World uh, teaches children how to ask questions about their hands and just to think about how we can use our hands to share with other people. So um, my book is a long rhyming poem that goes through um, like the different kinds of hands we might see Mm -hmm. um, and then very simple things that we can do with our hands that actually make a big difference like writing a letter to someone that we love, drawing a picture, helping with chores, not hitting, mm-hmm. things like that. Yeah. And then it uh, takes more of a global perspective toward the end, talks about the idea of global sharing and a global consciousness about how your hands could actually really make an even bigger difference in the world if we use it, if we use them with, you know, a consciousness of with thoughts and ideas of of other people. After the birth of your two children, you realized you wanted to teach children how to access a deeper meaning to daily life. And many adults look for deeper meaning to their lives and life in general. What do you mean by deeper meaning and how do you apply it to the children reading your book? Thank you. Yes. By a deeper meaning I say I mean thinking about, you know, why do we even have hands? Mm. Right? Yeah. Um, I, I mean, it, it seems very common and very simple, um, but how often do we really stop and think about the purpose of our life, why we're here, mm. why do we have the challenges in our life that we have, mm. and what can we do to have the best life that we would like to have? Absolutely. And it, it's funny that you say that um, many adults look for a deeper meaning because I would say that the parents are the people that have the biggest response to my book. And I've heard a lot of joke kind of, you know, kind of jokes, half jokes about, you know, really this book is great for all ages because Mm. it does make you stop and just be reflective about what you're doing every day in your own life. I think sometimes we think that sharing has to be this big dramatic action Mm. and it, it doesn't. Um, Sometimes sharing means, you know, cleaning up the dishes even though you're really tired yes and um calling the friend that you haven't talked to in a little while even though you have a really busy day yeah. or answering the text message to somebody that maybe you're um struggling with you know just little things every day that we can do that um deepen our life because we're we're going outside of ourselves and we're thinking about ways to connect to other people what age group is your hands can change the world aimed at I would say three to about eight years old. Right. For the for the younger children, mm. it will be a read aloud book. Yeah. And for the older children that are good readers, um, it it's a good read for them. And of course, adults. <laughs> and adults, right? That you... might be searching themselves. <laughs> <laughs> you have accompanying material on your website. Use your hands to share exercises for hearts and hands which is an educational resource to extend and reinforce the book's lessons and values. Um, it offers a range of craft activities and discussion questions. Tell me about that. Thank you. Yes, I got a lot of feedback when I first started meeting people and doing in-store book signings, things like that, mm. about the book, that it would be great if we could use it in classrooms, and it would be great for this particular kind of group, like church groups, youth groups. Mm. And I heard that feedback enough that I just started kind of, I know it's going to sound kind of weird, but I just started kind of like asking the book questions like, how can I extend you? It doesn't sound weird to me at all. What (laughs) else? Yeah, like what else can we, what else can we create here from Mm. this beginning place? And I I did do that. I did a lot of research Mm. about different activities. So the educational resource is a PDF download Mm. that goes together with the book so that you could just print the page that you wanted to use. And it contains a variety of activities for a variety of ages and skill levels. Like for the, go ahead. No, go on, carry on, please. 
for the younger children, it's like uh, planting a, a little seed right. in pots after you paint the little pots. And hand games like patty cake. Mm. And for the older kids or bigger groups, it's more sophisticated things like a vision boards, right. like vision like vision boards with a specific questions that you would answer. Um, those those games that you play where you intentionally stand in a circle and you tangle up, and then without unlocking your hands, you have to get untangled. <laughs> So team building exercises, craft activities, and then um, because I'm a writer and I always want to help other people uh, become writers as well, I do like a group story, like get together with three or four people and use a prompt right. and work work together to create a story. Um, so it, it really is uh, really hopefully suitable for many people and it's going good. People seem to really appreciate the option. Do they have to buy the book first in order to download it, or they, can they download it directly without buying the book? You can download just the material if you'd like. Right. Yeah. Okay. Okay. And you've been receiving some great reviews over on Amazon. I was reading the other day, including such a great life lesson for your child. But that's wonderful. What was the most gratifying moment for you, the first sale or the first review, and why? Oh, I'm so glad you asked. And I... I've actually been thinking about this. <laughs> I would actually say that the reviews are amazing and I'm very grateful for them. Mm -hmm. But the most gratifying moment for me in the process was unboxing my book. Oh, right. And I had a lot, I had some challenges uh, completing the book once it was in the publishing process. Mm -hmm. And they were wonderful challenges because they taught me so much about um, just where I'm at and what I need to learn. Mm -hmm. And so to actually just get the book in my hand I just felt like this has been worth every challenge and every illustration I've had to redo <laughs> and every question that I've had at three o'clock in the morning mm. about whether this crazy idea is even gonna work <laughs> yeah, I know that so yeah. yeah and then and then the reviews did start coming in and I did sell books it was like oh my gosh it's working yeah. you know which is very very gratifying also I crowdfunded the publication of my first book, I, I invested some myself and then I did need help from my community. So sending out copies of the book to the people that had helped me was extremely gratifying. Oh, I bet. I bet. Well, like one of my favorite things. Was, well, a lovely thank you to them. That's, that's so yeah. nice. You offer creative workshops for adults via your website, mycirclegame.com. I love the sound of your Nurture Your Light workshop. What's all that about? I actually just created that a few months ago, and right. it's going pretty well. Um, I, Like I said, I, I love being a writer. It's been a lifelong dream, and I held back on being a writer for a very long time because I believed I wasn't good enough, you know, all the things that, mm -hmm. unfortunately, we can go through inside. Sure, the doubts. So I started taking, I made the decision to commit to being a writer no matter what, and I started taking a few classes here and there. And there were some nice classes about the craft of writing. Mm -hmm. And there were some beautiful spiritual classes that I could choose from, from numerous places and different uh, spiritual uh, modalities. But I wasn't able to find anything that kind of merged the two. Right. So I created it. And it began with um, my little Right to Change Your World workshop, which takes you through a process to clear all the not-so-nice thoughts Mm -hmm. and the stress of daily life, and helps you write from a place where you're writing beyond just rehashing your story. Right. And I used that process for about a year, and then I wrote my children's book, which was never, a children's book was never in my sphere of even possibility. I, I never in a million years thought that I was going to write a, a children's book. So at that point, I thought, wow, this really works. <laughs> so I'm always looking for ways to extend what I can offer to people mm. and I really want to share with people um, and just empower people not to know what they know but that they know right and that that all the answers we have are inside of us and sometimes we just need a little bit of help yes to clear the stuff that isn't helping like just society can be really overwhelming you know, um, just to get to that quiet place inside. So yes. nurture your light is like an extension of that seed idea. And I decided to just go full out and just be completely 
completely brave and do all the things that I love. Because I thought, well, I would love a spa day where I just got to ride and mm. nurture. So maybe somebody else would like to do that. And it seems to be getting some nice feedback. People are responding. So we do. We go through um, two different healing modalities. And then I do my, my original workshop. And then once we're done with all of that, we actually put everything down that we've discussed mm. on paper in a creative way so that you have a reference point. Yes. It's, it's a little different than like our old school understanding of a vision board. I would say it's more like a possibility board because we're looking at the energy and um, feelings and experiences that we're trying to bring into our life versus like I want a different house. Does that make sense? Yes, absolutely. Absolutely. I see you do Reiki as well. What level are you, are yeah. you at? I have my uh, master Reiki attunement Lovely. and um, been a few years now and I, I love sharing Reiki with people. And you've trained, have you trained in other alternative therapies? And if so, which ones? Yeah, um, I, I, I'm a keen uh, student of Kabbalah at okay. the Kabbalah Center. That's really helped my life. Mm -hmm. I also really enjoy the tools of a modality called Access Consciousness. Okay. Access Consciousness helps you clear out limitations and just be the amazing human being that you were born to be. I'm writing that one down. <laughs> Yeah, access consciousness is really powerful. Yes. It's a great modality. So, yeah, I do a bunch of different things. That's so interesting. So let's go back to books. What's next on the writing front for Christy Cook? Well, thank you. I'm actually making some small improvements to Your Hands Can Change the World. Right. Uh, I'm, I'm excited to say that in uh, probably about a month, I think, uh, I'll have the hardcover version available for sale. Right now, I only have a paperback version. Right. So... I'll have the hardcover soon, and the reason it'll take about a month is because I'm actually making a few improvements mm -hmm. to the first book. I'm changing my bio on the back right. a little bit. I'm adding some of my website information. I also decided to add an acknowledgments page for that first group of people that really helped me make the book possible. That's nice. Um, and there's one illustration that I never felt was quite right, mm -hmm. so I'm changing it a smidge. Yeah, but you, so, you have a chance to do addition. You have a chance to do it. Why not? Exactly, and nobody, I mean, I think, yeah, just why not make the very best of it? So. Exactly. So where can Book Talk Radio Club listeners purchase Your Hands Can Change the World? You can purchase it on Amazon. Mm -hmm. You can purchase it through my website by um, clicking on the Buy Now link, which will take you to Etsy.com. Right. Uh, it's also on BarnesandNoble.com. And it's also on my publishing company's website, Balboa Press. Right. Um, 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 and what about the um, sorry? What about the uh, use your hands to share? Where where can people download that from? All of the same places, except for it's not on Barnes and Noble and it's not on the publishing website. So you can get it on Amazon. Okay. You can get it on my website. You can get it on Etsy. Fabulous. All right. Well, thank you, Chrissy. That was so interesting. Please come back on Book Talk Radio Club. I'd love to chat with you and hear more. In the meantime, good luck for the future. And thank you, everyone, for listening to Book Talk Radio Club. Thank you, Christy. Thank you, too, Claire. I'll, I'll appreciate it. I hope to talk to you soon. Okay.